Hi, I'm Tara. My company, Genco, makes the best apple juice you've ever tasted. An important part of ensuring our quality is our reverse osmosis system. This skid contains everything we need to clean the water going into our product, removing unwanted particles by pushing fluid through a filter. Part of that system is a membrane that needs to be periodically replaced to ensure the filter is working optimally. Up until now, we've scheduled the replacement of these filters, but occasionally spot tests in the lab find quality problems that force us to replace the filters more frequently than scheduled. It would be better if we could detect a problem and proactively replace the membranes based on actual usage. I wonder if someone else has solved this problem. I know, I'm going to check the Sesame Marketplace. Sure enough, it looks like there's already an app out there that does exactly what I need. Let's go through the steps to install it. I don't have the Smart Manufacturing Innovation Platform installed, but I do have my manufacturing data collected in an OSI Pi Historian. So, I'll start by creating my own Innovation Platform instance. Filling out this form registers me as the administrator of the instance but I'll be able to grant access to others in my organization as well. I can see that it takes a few minutes to create the necessary resources in the cloud that are specifically registered to me. I'll get an email when it's done. Looks like it's ready. Now, I need to connect my on-prem data source to my innovation platform by installing the connector on a computer inside my network. This computer needs to be able to reach both my Pi Historian and the internet, so I'll work with my IT department to establish a DMZ. Fortunately, the data is encrypted with a two-way certificate, and the connection is outbound only. The innovation platform never needs to reach into my network. The final thing I need to do is install the predictive maintenance application. The app itself lives in the cloud, so I won't need to do any more on-prem installation. But I will need to grant the app some permissions. First, the app needs to create a profile in my innovation platform called Reverse Osmosis Skid. Well, that makes sense. Next, the app wants permission to read data from my system. Finally, the app wants permission to write to, or change, objects from the profile it created. This looks good to me, so I'll approve. Now, the innovation platform goes to work doing a bunch of automatic steps to get the app ready for me. The necessary cloud resources for the app are started for my company. The connector receives a copy of the profile and starts trying to find the data for my system. If it can't find the data, I'll answer some questions to help make the right connection. Then, the connector begins delivering the data to the innovation platform, so the app can start its analysis. And, in a few minutes, the app is up and running. I can navigate to it right from within my innovation platform and see the analysis being performed. That was pretty easy. The marketplace made it simple to find a pre-built solution to my problem while the profile allowed that app to be built in a way that was independent of my particular infrastructure. The innovation platform made it all work together with a single, secure, outbound data connection that I'm always in control of. Now that is smart manufacturing.